Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, Long Island is full of fantastic people. We have traveled into many of our great communities to bring you the following stories. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. Get ready, My Long Island TV starts now. Welcome to the Nassau County Museum of Art. You're in the Contemporary Collectors Gallery, which features works by uh, two women artists, Julie Tremblay, a sculptor, and Sydney Chastain Chapman, a painter. We are looking at one of Sydney Chastain Chapman's paintings um, entitled Mountains Beyond Mountains. Uh, this is a work from her recent series on islands in which she talks about how people create islands um, for themselves, whether they are in virtual space uh, like a, a MySpace or a Facebook or a blog, or actual physical islands within their own homes or their gardens, uh, their own environments. In this particular piece, um, you can look at the individual um, pieces of it and they sort of make a little bit of sense. Um, people sitting uh, kind of on a patio, somebody watering plants, sort of a family group, a dog and a child painting the dog's fingernails, a woman enjoying the grass. But as you begin to look at the whole image, um, it makes less and less sense. It becomes a little, a little surrealistic. The elements don't quite all hang together. And this is part of Sydney's um, interest, I think, in uh, what's happening with the environment, what we're doing to the environment. Um, a lot of concerns with uh, what's going on in the world today. Behind me now, we have a work from an earlier series of Sydney's. Um, this is Miss February. And uh, in these works, Sydney's very much talking, again, about how we create personal spaces. Uh, but it's a little more personal about women, how they sort of create their own look, their identity, by the things they surround themselves with. This lady is clearly uh, Miss February because she has a little heart tattooed on her left shoulder. And there's a little groundhog in uh, honor of Groundhog Day uh, in the right-hand corner here. She loves, loves color. I think this, again, comes partly from her own personal interest just in color and pattern, but I think it also has something to do with the, the collage process that she engages in, where when you place these disparate elements near each other, the color seems to just pop even more. You see behind me Miss March, uh, and Miss March is very well identified by uh, March who comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. Uh, there is also in this corner uh, a few clovers popping up through the ground, um, always a hopeful sign of spring. As in uh, the previous work, uh, great interest in sort of describing a lot of the, the elements that we surround ourselves with, the way we dress, um, how carefully we dress, and um, Sydney's fascination again with pattern and color, these wonderful striped tights, um, the shoes that are you know black with white stitching, and this little element of kind of creeping snow coming in here that could be part of March's receding snow or again, part of Sydney's concern with the environment, global warming, what's happening to um, the climate in general. I'm standing um, directly under and almost inside a work by Julie Tremblay, uh, another young uh, woman artist uh, whose concern really is uh, making people aware of space. As I'm standing here, I really feel like I'm sort of enveloped in the space of this sculpture, and it's an absolutely wonderful feeling. Um, I hadn't realized before how the space um, above me uh, is being activated by the sculpture. So she makes us aware, I think, by the fact that the sculpture is three-dimensional and moves of the space above, below, and around. The material is very unusual. Uh, Julie Tremblay is working in, in this particular series in this room um, with the material that bottle caps are stamped out of um, so that if you get up close you can see the round circles um, and she layers it um, so that as these, uh, this material is layered it makes the most wonderful patterns, um, diamonds, triangles um, throughout the work. There is this wonderful um, kind of experience of almost feeling that they're made out of sort of air. I mean, they're, they're so lightweight, they seem just so, so sort of almost transparent um, that I think that again is a challenge of keeping them that way while making them uh, a pretty recognizable human figure. Goodbye from the Nassau County Museum of Art. 
We hope you'll visit often, uh, come back and see us again whenever you can, and enjoy all the work we have on view here.